Welcome to the video lecture on periodic and aperiodic signals. In this video, we'll consider an example and we'll determine is the signal periodic or not. If periodic, what is the fundamental period? In our case, x of t, which is a continuous time sinusoidal signal, equals to sine square of t. So the task is to determine is this signal periodic or not. So sine square t, I could write this as 1 by 2 into bracket 1 minus cosine of 2t. So I can write sine square t is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket 1 minus cos 2t. So now I can proceed further. So I can compare this with the standard signal cos omega t. So I can easily say that by comparing those two, I could write omega is equal to 2. And I already know that omega is equal to 2 pi f, which is equal to 2 in our case. So therefore, I would get f is equal to 1 divided by pi. Therefore, I would get the period t is equal to 1 over f and that is equal to pi. So next to determine is it periodic or not, so we'll consider the case x of t plus capital T. And later if we can prove that equal to x of t itself, we can say that the given signal is periodic or else it is aperiodic. So x of t is sine square t and x of t plus capital T. So I have to replace every t with t plus capital T. So capital T in our case is pi. So which is equal to sine square t plus pi. So I could write this as 1 by 2 into bracket 1 minus cosine of 2 times t. So t here it is cos 2 times t plus pi. So this is what I, I get. So I can simplify this further. So I'll take 2 into the inner bracket. So I would get cosine of 2 pi plus 2t. So this is what I get. And by making use of the trigonometric result, I already know that cos 2 pi plus theta is equal to cos theta. So this looks like that. Cos 2 pi plus 2t. So which is going to be equal to 1 by 2 into bracket 1 minus cosine of 2t. So this is what I get. And 1 by 2 into bracket 1 minus cos t is nothing but the original signal sine square t. So I can go back. So I can make this equal to sine square t and which is equal to the given signal x of t itself. So I have proved that x of t plus capital T is equal to the given signal x of t. So therefore finally I can say the given signal is periodic with the fundamental period capital T equal to pi.